the best um, medication against anger and anxiety is to take action yourself. So, Rita, explain this. Am I being unfair? I mean, this woman's nine-year-old girl is freaked out, thinks the world is burning up and we're all going to die, and her mum, instead of saying, it's OK, calm down, rushes off and speaks to Greta Thunberg, who suddenly is a diagnetician able to, to cure mental illnesses as well with the medication of climate change activism. This is horrific. Yeah, I wonder where her daughter got the idea that the world is on fire and we're all going to die soon. I mean, imagine growing up with that fear, if you believe that's your future. It is just so cruel. I mean, I grew up uh, for quite a few years in a war zone where we actually yes. could have died at any time, and I wasn't that bloody frightened. These are the world's luckiest kids. They're born into privilege. They're living in peaceful, prosperous times, and yet we're inflicting this emotional trauma on them. They literally think they're going to die and their family is going to die soon, as that woman said, from climate change. It is obscene. Well, it's child abuse through and through, but it gets worse. It goes from that sort of craziness to pure out-and-out -out Marxism. James, have a listen to this. She's the new kid on the block. Poor old Greta's gone. She's history. She's ancient news. She's been... Uh, there's a new one, Zia Bastida. Uh, she's uh, the new 19-year-old who's taken them all by storm. Have a listen. The climate crisis is the result of those perpetuating and upholding the, the harmful systems of colonialism, oppression, capitalism, and market-oriented greenwash solutions. We demand that you stop fossil fuel investments and subsidies. We demand that you stop any new fossil fuel infrastructure and existing fossil fuel extraction, including pipelines. We demand comprehensive, non-Eurocentric, and intersectional climate education including literacy on climate justice, environmental racism, ancestral and indigenous wisdom, on historical movements, disability justice, green careers and sustainable living. James, this is Pol Pot. This is terrifying. Well, I mean, this I'm isn't just, even just... funny anymore. No, it is funny because I'm looking at my bingo card here. A little funny. Justice, <laughs> environmental racism, disability. Bingo! You know, I got it. Uh, this is... Who writes this stuff? This is like being generated well, we'll by... Well, tell you who writes this stuff, it. not her. Guys, not this, her. Though, but yeah. this is the most ridiculous thing. This is being backed in by the United States Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, yes. who exactly. retweeted this speech and said, how wonderful, this is the next generation of leadership, mm. yada, yada, yada. And yet, if you listen to what she's talking about, you know, I mean, it's easy to say it's all a lot of goofy nonsense, but it is, at the heart of it, it is this thing where, you know, traditional Marxism, uh, environmental Marxism, which has been around for decades, and now intersectional Marxism have all come together. So the fascinating thing here that everybody needs to watch is how intersectional politics are now going to be driving the climate wars just as they've been driving the culture wars everywhere else. And this speech here uh, is exactly where this is all going. But, Rita, that is pure out-and-out -out Marxism, as James said. It's the oh, end yeah. of capitalism. Now, this is being touted by Joe Biden and that summit as this is the way forward. 